The movie starts with a woman named Rei, pulling up at an underground nightclub in Tokyo. The woman at the front door takes her coat, and she walks around the club seemingly looking for someone. She finally sees who she was looking for and sits two chairs away from him, close but not too close. The bartender asks her for her order and she asks for two shots of tequila. When the waiter finishes preparing her drink, she tells him to give the extra shot to the man next to her. As expected, he took the drink and stood up from his chair to sit next to her. He asks her if she always invites men over by giving them a drink and she says yes, saying that it's the easiest way and that it works every time. She tells him that he looks lonely and he laughs. The bartender gives them extra shots and they drink it. Later on, they are in the car and the man asks her where she wants to go and she replies that she wants to go to his house because his wife lives there. They end up at his house and while they are falling around, she grabs a scalpel and stabs him in the neck. In shock, he throws her off the bed and she hits the glass table shattering it. She grabs a broken piece of glass and slits his throat, blood from his jugular spraying all over her, ultimately killing him. The day before, Ray is at her plastic surgery clinic performing eyelid surgery. She has a lighter touch with a scalpel during surgery, delicately cutting the eyelids of a patient. After work, she stops at the cemetery to meet her family and visit her mother's grave. She then picks up a birthday cake at her local coffee shop for her girlfriend. When she gets home, she finds her girlfriend in the bathtub drinking wine. Ray reprimands her at first but soon grabs the bottle and they both start drinking. Suddenly, her phone starts ringing. It's a call from her friend Nene. It's been 10 years since Ray and Nene have spoken. It ended, well, awkwardly it seems, as Ray is gay and Nene apparently is not, although I'd question it somewhat. On the other end of the line, Nene is at home in a fancy apartment. She's sitting next to a floor-to-ceiling window overlooking the city. She seemed lonely, which is probably why she's calling Ray. Nene asks Ray if they could meet and Ray says yes immediately. Nene hangs up and Ray drops everything to see her. When she arrives at Nene's apartment, she's amazed by how beautiful the place is. Nene tells her that she hasn't changed at all since they last saw each other. Ten years ago, Ray and Nene met at a restaurant. Younger Nene hands Ray the 3 million yen that she borrowed from her. Ray tells her that if she ever gets in trouble, she can always call her, but Nene tells her that that was the last time they are seeing each other. Back at the present, Ray and Nene are lying on the bed. Nene kisses Ray and tells her she loves her and asks Ray if she feels the same. When Ray didn't say anything, Nene peels off her clothing showing her body covered with bruises. Ray asks Nene if her husband did that to her and she starts crying. Ray tries to embrace her but it's too painful and she pulls away abruptly. Nene says that the only way for the abuse to stop is if she dies or her husband dies. She then asks Ray if she'll kill her husband. We already know the answer to that question as we're taken back to Ray sitting next to Nene's dead husband after she killed him. Ray calls Nene and tells her that it's done. She then tells Nene that she left fingerprints and was caught on camera too. By the time Nene gets home, the police will already be looking for Ray. She did this so that Nene won't get blamed for the murder. Ray hangs up and throws her phone in the river. Nene then drives and starts looking for Ray. She finally finds her on the bridge and she tells her to get in the car. Ray asks her where they're going and she says anywhere they want to. On the drive, Ray tells her that no one will ever hit her again and they both laugh. Nene at her newfound freedom and Ray at the return of her good friend. At a hotel shower, Ray washes off Nene's husband's blood of her body. Nene walks in and joins Ray in the bathtub, overwhelmed by what she'd done. Ray starts crying and embraces Nene. Nene starts crying too, saying that it's all her fault. Ray is worried about what people might think of her when they find out that she killed someone. She then tells Nene that she would do anything just to see her smile. The next day, the two women go on the run. In the car, Nene tells Ray that her dad beat her up too when she was young. They arrived at a hospital where Nene's father is being admitted. He had a stroke years before because of alcoholism. She tells Ray that she wishes that he died instead. Soon after, she leaves her wedding ring at the table next to her dad's bed and leaves. After grabbing food to eat, they park at an empty lot. Ray asks Nene where she wants to live now that her husband's dead, and she takes Ray to a quiet town. They pull up at Nanny's childhood home that was abandoned years ago after her father's stroke. Nene tells her that she lived there till she was 18 years old. After her mom left, she did too leaving her abusive father behind. Ray looks around the house and sees an old certificate for when Ray won the hurdle race when they were in high school. At school, younger Ray is seen on the second floor of their school building watching Nene practice at the track. The other students are gossiping about Ray, saying that she's a lesbian. Ray hears them and hides behind a wall. Later at home, Ray finds her mom in the living room. Her mom tells her to give up her attraction to Nene, saying that Nene doesn't like girls like Ray does. The next day at school, Ray waits for Nene outside and they walk home together. Nene goes to a shoe store, leaving Ray outside. Ray sees Nene stealing a pair of shoes but the staff catches her. Nene runs away from the staff but they soon catch up to her, 
toppling her to the ground. Ray then pays for the shoes to prevent the staff from calling the police on Nene. Nene injures her leg, resulting in her not being able to practice for the hurdle competition. She tells Ray that she's quitting school because she can't pay the tuition without her sports scholarship. She says that she's good at shoplifting because she's poor and did it all the time when she was younger. Not wanting her to leave, Ray offers to pay Nene's school fees. Nene asks her what she wants in return, and Ray tells her that if she can't pay in five years' time, she wants to be able to have sex with her. Insulted, Nene walks away from Ray. Back at the present, Ray and Nene are playing a board game at her old house. Nene then tells Ray that she called the police because she wants to start over and live a new life. Ray gets angry and attacks Nene, but before anything could turn out for the worst, someone starts knocking on the door. Thinking that it's the police, Ray walks to the door only to find him and delivering sushi. It turns out that Nene lied about calling the police saying that she only did it to see Ray get angry because she's never seen her angry before. That night, Nene apologizes to Ray and assures her that if she did call the police, she would take the blame and tell them that it was her who told Ray to kill her husband. Ray forgives her and says that she'll surrender herself to the police in the morning. The next day, they leave the house early. As they're walking out of the house, Ray sees a police officer outside inspecting their car. She panics and pulls Nene to run away. They end up stealing a delivery boy's moped and manage to outrun the police. They drive until they're out of gas. When they realize the vehicle won't run anymore, they go and find a local restaurant for lunch. While they're eating, Ray sees a newspaper with an article written about her. She goes to the bathroom to read it and cries when she sees that the media had portrayed her as a prostitute obsessed with Nene's husband. Later on, a guy from the restaurant offers to drive them to a bus station. He asks them why they're in the town since they didn't look like they were locals, and Ray tells him the truth, saying that they were on the run after killing Nene's husband. The guy just laughed, thinking that Ray was joking. At the bus stop, Nene sleeps on one of the benches, and Ray approaches her and tries to choke her. But before she could move forward with her plan, the guy who drove them came back and asked Ray to have a drink with him. She agrees, and she ends up in his car, and Ray lets him touch her. Afterward, an upset Ray looks for a telephone and calls her girlfriend. Her girlfriend asks her if she's alright, and Ray apologizes to her for leaving. Ray's girlfriend is upset but tells Ray that she loves her. Ray cries even more, but her girlfriend hangs up, ending their relationship. The next day, she steals a pair of slippers from a nearby house and gives it to Nene since her sandal fell off when they were running away from the police that morning. Ray tells her that they either die together or surrender themselves to the police. Instead of answering, Nene instead tells her that she would rather take a shower. Ray laughs and they ride a train to Ray's childhood home. She didn't have a key so she ended up breaking the glass door with a rock. They hung out at the lake and talked about their childhood and sexuality. Ray says that as soon as she realized that she was gay, she made the decision to not care about what other people think. She also says that Nene was the first girl she was attracted to. While they were having breakfast, Nene's brother and his wife arrive at the house after being notified of a burglar in their childhood home, but it was only Ray. They ask her if the person on the news that killed Nene's husband was her. She says yes, and her brother gets upset. In the living room, Ray's brother calmly asks her why she did what she did. He tells her to turn herself in immediately. Her brother tells her that she is always welcome to stay with them if she wants. She agrees to go to the police in the morning. Ray goes to talk to Nene and tells her that she'll tell the police that she kidnapped Nene and held her hostage. Nene gets hysterical and tries to attack Ray but she fights back. They fought until Ray's brother came in to break them up. Nene calls Ray a lesbian fool. Betrayed, Ray says that she thought they were going to elope together. Nene says that she'll do anything to atone for her sins. She'll even testify at court. After that, she tells Ray that she'll go somewhere Ray will never see her. While in the bathroom, Ray discovers a pair of coins that she used to pay for the restaurant. It turns out that Nene kept it all these years. This made her realize that Nene cares for her after all. When Nene comes back from the bathroom, Ray tells her that they should run away together, and Nene agrees. On the driveway, Ray's sister-in-law is preparing the car for their journey to the police station, but Ray tells her that she wants to run away with Nene. As they're driving away, Ray's brother sees them and tries to run after them. When he realized that he couldn't catch them, he turned to his wife and asked her why she let them get away. She tried to make her husband understand that the only reason Ray killed Nene's husband was because she loved her and that she would do the same thing for him if she had no other choice. On the drive, Nene tells Ray that they should go somewhere where they could be alone. They play their favorite song in the car and start singing along. That night, they arrive at a seaside town and spend the night together at a small shed that they found on the beach. The morning after, Ray calls the police without telling Nene. The two women leave the shed that morning and stop by at a local gas station. Not long after, the police officers arrive and arrest them both. That was a pretty sad ending, but they did commit a crime. What did you guys think about this one? Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like, it really helps the channel.